Hi, I'm Mystic Rose and welcome to my channel. So today's pick a card is going to be how are you shocking people? It's going to be really interesting and fun. So I have no idea what spirit is going to bring through, but it should be really fun. Anyways, if you're new to my channel, please be sure to subscribe. I would love to have you be part of my YouTube family. And if you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for being here. I truly love and appreciate each and every one of you. Thank you for booking those personal readings with me. If you would like to book a personal reading with me, you can find all the information for that in my description box below. Let's go ahead and get started with today's pick a card all about how are you shocking people. Hello and welcome to your pile selection with gemstones. So for pile number one, we've got this kyanite. So if you're attracted to kyanite or image one, you'll choose pile number one. If you're drawn to this piece of pyrite or image two, you'll choose pile number two. And if you like this light green fluorite or image three, you'll choose pile number three. If you need a little bit more time to think about it, you can go ahead and pause the video. But if you're ready, let's go ahead and get started with today's pick a card. How are you shocking people? Hello, my beautiful and lovely pile number one. I'm so glad that you're here with me today. So if you chose this kyanite or um, image number one, you are in the right place. And we're going to be investigating and finding out all about what is it about you that is really shocking others. So we are going to be using the conscious spirit tarot or oracle actually. Um, some animal spirit cards, um, the wild unknown archetypes by Kim Kranz, and, um, some channeled message cards as well as, um, my unity deck, and I'm gonna throw in some charms too, so we are using a whole bunch of different modalities. I will be channeling, um, so using the tarot cards, using all different kinds of different things. It'll be fun. And I'll get a really good picture of what it is about you that is really shocking people right now. So, Spirit, please be here now with me. Help me to deliver clear, concise, and accurate messages all about um, how is pile number one, the people that are watching pile number one, how are they shocking other people right now? All right, so we've got this here, throat chakra. Ooh, you are speaking your truth. You are not holding back. You are shocking others because you're living your truth. You are speaking your truth. With the chakra, so that I can't talk. Throat chakra, that is all about you speaking your truth and encu encouraging others to speak their truth. So yeah, you are uh, you are speaking your mind, okay? And this is like shocking the hell out of people. They're like, wait, what? <laughs> Maybe you stayed quiet for too long. Okay, you're not staying quiet any longer. You are speaking your truth. This is shocking people. People are like, huh? Because <laughs> I'm literally hearing that like, wait, what? So I feel like this could have been uncharacteristic for you before. Maybe you were kind of a little bit too timid to speak your truth before. But nothing's holding you back now. Let's see what else it is about my pile number one that is shocking people. How is my pile number one shocking people? And um, just know that not all of these messages will resonate. But just, just because like a lot of people watch these videos. So just know that, you know, take what you like and leave the rest. Okay. Since this is a general reading. But take what you like and enjoy and leave the rest. All right, so Spirit, what is it about um, my pile number one that is shocking the hell out of people? You are moving st straight ahead on something. Like, you're not stuck anymore, okay? You might have been stuck. There could have been, like, a stuckness for a while. Maybe you were going after your goals and just nothing was happening. And then now look at you. You're on your way. It's like, vroom, vroom. 
Yeah, the car is in motion. You're going forward. Action now. That's what all of these are for. You might have heard some recently some good news like, hey, you got that job or hey, you got that promotion or hey, you know, things things are moving along for you now. So, you know, um, so this could be any avenue in which you are putting your energy into. It's actually shocking the hell out of people because some people didn't think you'd get this far, okay? So some of you could be actually kind of popular on a social media type of platform. Others of you, um, like I said, it could be in, in work-related types of fields that you are really shining. Shining your light, speaking your truth. Um, also, you could be in like some kind of a leadership role or maybe you're moving up to a leadership role, but you got people shocked if you're moving up to a leadership role. You got your coworkers and everybody shocked like, what? <laughs> Yeah, with the Page of Pentacles there, it's like you are earning more money than you did before. I feel like people are shocked. And also, I might add, some people are a little bit jealous of this too. Like, I'm not going to lie, okay? You got people shocked and jealous as hell. All right, well, because you're a hard worker, pile number one. You are a hard worker. And, you know, you've shocked people how much hard work you've been willing to put into this venture or this idea of yours. But you know what? You made it happen. And things are really coming along like the cogs are all fitting into place and everything is finally starting to move for you. I really do feel like you're going to have so much success. Oh wow, look at this. We've got the star here for sure. So some of you could be in the spotlight or well known or like even in the healing profession. Um, you could be healing people. I guess what shocks other people about this is the fact that they never saw you in this type of role, okay? Like, some people, they never expected you to either be in the spotlight like you are, or they never expected you to be a, in a healer type of role. They might have underestimated you, okay? Somebody might have underestimated you. Maybe some people did, you know, um, but they're, they're kind of shook right now. Yeah, and this is in regards to what you're doing for a career. So you are really doing a lot. Yeah, you're showing those leadership skills big time. Good luck is on your side. You're shocking people because you you almost seem like you're lucky. People are like, wait, how did this how did this person get so lucky? You've been blessed. Okay. I just heard a head above the rest, you've been blessed. So thank you, Spirit, for that little rhyme. <laughs> oh my goodness. All right, so I want to see how else. Okay, first off, I want to do like some animal spirit cards. But yeah, I'm just thinking like for this, for you guys, you've really empowered yourself to grow. And it's like, whoa, you know, you've taken the bull by the horns is what spirit just told me. You took the bull by the horns. All right, how else are people sh like kind of shocked by my pile number one? How are people shocked and why? Whoa, we got, yeah, that was, that card wanted to fly out, but it went back in the deck, so I guess it didn't want to come out that bad. Okay, oh shit, we got two here. We got Peacock and Tarantula. Wow, that Tarantula looks pretty damn intimidating, but don't worry, it's really, it has a good meaning. It's pop. it's uh, not popular, it's a uh, pleasant um, meaning. It's just like, like I was saying, though, people are definitely, definitely, like, intimidated by you, jealous of you. Um, with the tarantula, it's like, you know, you might have been at a crossroads in your life before. Like, you didn't know which direction to go. And now that you chose a direction and you stayed with it and you've put all of your hard work and efforts into there, it's really paying off. And it's like, wow. Yeah, people are really, really, really kind of shocked by your... Like, your life path that you're taking, the the walk that you're walking, the just your, your, your deep, deep purpose you have in your life, your dharma. You're really surprising people. And the fact that you're very intuitive is also blowing people's minds. With the tarantula there, that's all about somebody who follows their intuition. And, um... You could even be a writer or have a gift in writing and your ability to convey your thoughts through writing 
really, really attracts people. Um, many people that probably didn't even know that you had that gift are surprised with what a good writer you are. And also people are surprised by your confidence and how much you've grown as a person. And they're really, really surprised by your growth and the fact that, yeah, you, you've seemed to have made huge strides in your confidence level. Also, what surprises people is that for everything you've been through, and I'm hearing haters too that you've had in your life, you're still a kind person. And you got some people that are like really surprised about how kind you are, even though like in the face of conflict and stuff like that, like jealous people and things like that, people who have resented you, people who have been kind of nasty to you in the past. Um, it left you like, I'm hearing like unriveted. I don't, I'm not really sure what, that's what spirit is saying to me. Like it didn't get your feathers all ruffled up. Like you just kept going and you're being blessed because of that. And people are like, people are really shocked that you didn't let that negativity or that harsh past get you or like keep you down. You don't let anything keep you down. You just keep going and going and going. And it's like your tenacity really makes people shocked, you know, like you're go, you're a go getter. Uh, and I just heard too, like a gold getter. <laughs> I love that spirit. That is awesome. All right. Now I'm going to, um, go into the archetype cards. Yeah, this pile number one, you guys are awesome. Working hard, going after what you want, making, you know, living that dream, making things possible for yourself because you can and you're finding that out like real life magic. You know, this is real life magic and you're doing it. You're killing it. All right, so let's see, Spirit, in what other ways is my pile number one shocking the hell out of people? The medallion. Oh my God, you're a winner. You are a winner, winner, chicken dinner. Look at that. Winner, winner. You had the medallion there. What else can I say? My pile number one. You guys are awesome. Um, Yeah, you just are serving up all kinds of goodness. Like with, I don't know, with that medallion, you kind of, can I get more clear about this? You guys are, are killing it with your goals. You're shining like that star that you are. You could be in the spotlight. Like I said, like if you are in the spotlight, you are gaining popularity. More and more people are knowing your name. Guarantee you will be leaving in your spot on this, in this world, you know. And long after you're gone, people are going to remember your name and what you did here. The Venom. Oh, dang. That looks like a scary card. Again. Okay, this is what I'm talking about. Look at that. You got the tarantula. You got the venom. You you are intimidating as hell to some people. I am not going to lie. But don't let those cards scare you because the venom is not, you know, as bad as it looks. But it's got those nasty sharp teeth. <laughs> um, You know, p negative people are going to stay away from you because... They, they're in their own little world. They might talk smack about you behind your back. Just ignore these people. Of course, you're going to get people like that when, you know, when you have the medallion here and you're a winner and like you're confident with the peacock, you're making things happen and getting things done, like moving up that corporate ladder or whatever it is you're doing, like gaining popularity with people, living your dharma, walking that path. Um, yeah, like... You could have even, like, okay, this could have, maybe this is going to happen soon, but, like, for some of you, I'm just going to say, you could be getting an inheritance soon, and this is going to make people be really shocked. <laughs> you think they're shocked now. They're going to be really, really shocked. Um, yeah, when you get that inheritance. Um, so that could be, like, coming from anywhere. That could be, like, a surprise inheritance, like, some, like, some great uncle you didn't even know you, you had or something like that. But, yeah. You're definitely getting a big sum of money here. That's going to be surprising people. But yeah, that Venom card though looks scary. It's about like self-realization through suffering. So like I said, people have noticed that you've been through some rough shit. But look at, look at, you're like the phoenix that rises from the ashes. Yeah, so just keep rising up. Keep being you. Keep being fabulous because you're doing everything right. And who cares what other people think anyways. But yeah, you got a lot of people really, really in shock and awe by you and by all the the transitions that you've gone through all right so let's see i kind of want to do these for fun 
All right, so Spirit, what else are people noticing? Or how else are they shocked by my pile number one? Whoa. Dress of alchemy. Release your power. I feel like you are very powerful, you know. You might have people wondering, like, how did you attain this kind of popularity? Or how did you get that raise or promotion? Like, what are you doing? You got people wondering about you. But really, honestly, like, you are just becoming a really good manifester, you know. Um, you are realize you're realizing your inner power with that card there. The Dress of Alchemy, release your power. Your power is intimidating to some people, like I said. But you know who you are and I want you to just keep being you because you're shining. Look at this. You got that light shining behind you. You got the shining star here. You're wearing that crown here. You're wearing that crown here. You're as beautiful as a beautiful, lovely peacock. Just, yeah, be you. Strut yourself with confidence. Um, okay, I want to get into some channel message cards. All right, so Spirit, how else does my pile number one have people really shocked right now? Why are they shocked? Why are they shocked? Why else are they shocked, Spirit? Why else are they shocked? Oh, gosh. Shoot. Thank you, Spirit. Oh, my gosh. I can't make this shit up. Like, you are gaining more and more popularity with people. And they're like, and people are like, wait, what? How? They weren't popular this time last year, you know? How the hell did they blow up with their popularity? You know what I mean? Or like, why are they so well liked now? Like maybe there was a time when you felt like a loner or like you didn't fit in or something, but like now you're gaining more popularity. People notice your positive attitude and they're like, they're kind of shocked at, like I said, they're shocked because you have a positive attitude, even though you, in the past, you might've gone through some, some, some like, really hard stuff and also you might have people shocked because you might have a brand new tattoo or a brand new piercing that is that might be kind of shocking like you know it could be on the neck or behind the ear or something like that and then we got a piercing you could have gotten a nose ring maybe that's one of the things that has people shocked right now about you is like oh dang they got a nose ring that could be for just some of you out there it doesn't have to be for everybody but if you did People are really surprised by this. They're like, oh my gosh, they got a nose ring. I don't know why why they'd be so shocked about that. You're putting a lot of thought into your outfits and you're you're really killing it. You're looking good. Looking well put together. Looking professional at work. Um, looking bougie as hell. Looking good. Looking put together. Looking like you know what you're doing. Um, I just heard like, you look fierce. You look fierce. You might have gotten a shocking or bold new hairstyle. Maybe you're trying something that you have never, ever, ever tried before. And people are noticing and they're kind of shocked by it. And you look happier than ever. And this is huge too. People are noticing. All right, so now I'm going to do some charms. All right, so Spirit, how else are people shocked by my pile number one? How else are people surprised by my pile number one? Your talent is really shocking the hell out of people. Like, you know, you might have really grown as an artist or maybe you've gotten better at whatever art or uh, musical thing you've been doing. Whatever your talent is, it's like, bang. It's like, it's blown up. Your talent has blown up. Okay, it's incredible. I'm just hearing. Things are fitting together for you so perfectly. It's like, people are surprised, yeah, because of your growth and because of the way that you're so, like, grounded and rooted here, like this tree. You're very grounded. Um, you're very sweet. There's a kitty cat here. It's like... I feel like people think that you are very independent. Cats are usually independent, but they're also, they can be very sweet. I feel like a lot of people love your personality and they think that also you're kind of fiercely independent. I'm hearing too from Spirit, like you might have some friends that are like, okay, why doesn't he or she hang out with me anymore? Like you could have a couple of friends that are wondering or thinking you're so busy that you're not hanging out or spending enough time with them anymore. Okay. Also, we got the 
cross here. I feel like you could be a really spiritual person. And like I said before, like your spirituality really surprises people and, and um, in a good way, except unless like they're jealous. You could have um, gone from like, like religion into segued into spirituality from a religious background. Okay. Um, but wow, you have grown so much. Your growth is what is shocking, the most shocking of anything. It's like your growth with that tooth there. And yeah, you're getting, you're coming into your spirituality here with the Ohm symbol. You're 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 going from religion into spirituality, and that might be shocking pe to people too. Like family members might be shocked, like, "Oh, are you giving up your religion?" Or like friends friends that are might maybe in the church or whatever might be like, "Oh my gosh, are you giving up your religion and all that? Like, are you losing your faith? But you're not. You're actually growing stronger in your faith and everything. Like growing stronger in your spirituality. So getting away from like the dogma and all that and going more into true peace and true like true faith true love walking your path walking your dharmic path and all that like you're actually yeah you're doing you you're being you and it's incredible but like like i said like some people might not understand it they don't they also don't like your light that you're shining they get a little bit jealous they might feel like inferior or intimidated but just be you just keep being you pile number one i love you um, I hope you've enjoyed this. Please be sure to like, uh, share, comment, and subscribe to my channel if you're new. I would love to have you be part of my YouTube family. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for being here. If you would like a personal reading from me, definitely be sure to check out my description box below for more information on how you can obtain a personal reading with me. And if you'd like to donate to my channel, it's never expected, but always appreciated. Much love to you. Stay beautiful, pile number one. Bye. Hello, my beautiful and lovely pile number two. I'm so excited to have you here. We're going to be looking into um, how are you shocking people. And I'm going to be using the charms. I'm going to be using several different tarot decks and oracle decks and... Uh, channeled message card so we're gonna get a really really uh, uh deep look into uh how you're shocking people so i think i will start uh with the conscious spirit oracle and i will say a little prayer to spirit to help us as we begin here so spirit please be here now with me help me to deliver clear concise and accurate messages to the people who chose pile number two all about how are they shocking other people right now? What is it about them that is shocking other people right now? I will move this over here. How is my pile number two shocking other people right now? I always shuffle until I get um, a, a tingling sensation in my heart or until um, cards fly out. <laughs> If too many fly out, I don't keep them. But if like one or two fly out, then I will, then I keep them. All right. Okay, I'm feeling it here. It's time to stop. Ooh, I love this. We've got the root chakra here. Everything. I have everything I need to survive and grow on this physical plane. Look at you here. You're intuitive. You are confident with yourself. You're sexy too, I might add. You've got just this swag about you. You know, it's this inner confidence, that this inner knowing of who you are that really surprises people lately about you. This inner confidence, inner knowing. Um, you're just calm, you know. You, you're very peaceful, calm um wow look at this your physical body there's something about your physical body that's shocking people right now you could literally have had a huge weight loss or transformation um maybe you got a new hairstyle maybe you got um a bold daring new look or the clothes you've been wearing something about you there's just some kind of new change with your body that you've been experiencing because look at all this red here too it's like fiery all right, you just exude all this passion. You're celebrating. The way you move is very sexy. Um, 
you could be one heck of a good dancer. Um, your dancing abilities could really shock people. I think what really, really shocks people though lately is that it's just like the way you walk lately, it's exude, it's exuding from you like this va va voom quality. You're very, very sensual here. I've, I haven't seen this much red um, when I've pulled those cards before, but look at all that. Red is for passion. You are exuding so much passion. So whatever it is about you, we're going to get more details. Your passion is one thing that's really taking me people by surprise right now. Like they're really, really surprised. All right. Wow. Okay. I got to pick up a card. All right, so I am going to be using my Unity deck. I created this deck using my own artwork, digital artwork. So if you're interested in purchasing a deck, you can actually purchase a deck for yourself. And more information for that is in my description box below. This is called the Unity deck. I hope you enjoy. So Spirit, how else is my pile number two shocking the hell out of people right now? How are they shocking other people right now? I just heard your beauty, your physical beauty is like shocking people right now. Your glow up, something about like your transformation, um, you know, you seem to age backwards. It's almost like I'm hearing age eraser. You could like literally be looking gorgeous for your age and people are like, how do you do this? Are you a vampire? <laughs> you know, they're like, they're shocked. Okay. Also, there's something here about your ability to save money and your abundance. You're very blessed. You know, you have people so surprised, like, dang, how, you know, how is this person so very beautiful? Plus, they're very blessed with, like, you know, financial abundance. For some of you, like, you could have just moved into a new place and people are really surprised and happy about that. I feel like people are, for the most part, happy about this because you've worked hard and you earned it. Um, with that, people are surprised at your work ethic. Like, you are a really hard worker. You push yourself. Spirit just said you push yourself to keep going. Even when you don't want to. Even when you don't want to, you know, go in to work or, you know, like, just dragging ass. It's, it's not fun. Um, there's some days I don't want to go into, you know. And, and you just keep pushing yourself. And it's paying off for you. And people are surprised by your good work ethic. And how much is really paying off for you, too? All right, so we've got the Eight of Wands here, which is all about, like, news coming in. It can be about, like, people wanting to contact you or, like, um, uh, news coming in fast to you. So this could be, like, you might have recently, like, re received some good news that has people surprised right now. This good news could range from anything from, like, you know, hearing exactly what you need to hear about a job or um, meeting meeting the love of your life or, like, meeting somebody that you're excited about in the area of love and romance. Maybe you're actually with your, your twin flame or soulmate or, like, I just heard reunited. You could be reunited with your twin flame. Um... Or like going from like in the 5D to like actually having do having them, holding them, and that kind of thing. So for some of you, if that is you, you're really surprising people because you've manifested like the love of your life. And I feel like this is awesome for you. And that's not gonna be for everybody, but let's just keep going. This is a general reading, but all right, in other in what other ways is my pile number two shocking people? Page of Swords. All right, I'll get into that in a minute. Four of Swords. Hierophant. And the Seven of Cups. I feel like you have a lot of options to, you know, in um, your life, like, presented to you. You have a lot of options. And this is su surprising to people because not everybody has as many options. Like, maybe you're very beautiful, and because of that, you have a lot of suitors that want to be with you. Um, yeah. You could have, like, a lot of suitors that want to be with you. My phone just went off, so I feel like that is, like, spirit saying, yep. 
I think that a lot of these suitors, though, you may not even know about because they're like secretly watching you, seeing, noticing your glow up, your transformation, noticing your sex appeal. Anyways, with the page of swords there, what people are really, really surprised about is some people have thought, think that like, oh, you're getting better looking or like you are having this huge glow up. So some people are thinking that you've gone cold or like, you know, you're not like, they're surprised because they think that either you think you're too good or something like that. This is only a few people. I would just like totally ignore these people. These could be like bitter co-workers or like um jealous friends or like so-called friends or people that you've left behind but they think like you cut them off you might have cut some people off and they're like oh he or she cut me off because they think they're too good you know like they see you as being abundant as being like like i can't i can't say that but like se sexy sexy as heck i'll just say that um i have to be so careful I, that i i can't swear too much on here but sometimes spirit gets gets me kind of riled up and i want to like <laughs> stick swear words but anyways i'm trying to keep it pg um you are very sexy and because of that you have and you're abundant because of that you get um some people that you might have cut off in the past are like oh he or she cut me off because they think they're better than me okay people might be thinking that you think you're better than better than them um but you you definitely have never ever been like that if you've lost a friendship it was be probably because they deserved it um you are just not that type of person you're very honest Okay, sometimes you can be very forthright in the way that you deliver your messages to people. Like, you're very honest and, and almost brutally honest at times, but, like, you're never hurtful, not on purpose. But some people might have thought that, like, some of the words you said were cold or something. That might have, sh like, shocked people lately. That, like, your delivery seems kind of brutal or, like, brutally honest. Your brutality, um, your honesty has kind of, like, shook somebody up, like... They might be kind of, you know, shook because of something you said. You might have rattled their cage. Okay, that's what I'm hearing from spirit. You might have rattled somebody's cage lately by telling them your truth. <laughs> All right. Um, Pages swords also means to me that, like, you know, you could be, like, somebody who's, like, really, really intelligent and maybe you're even an inventor or something like that but like you have an inventive mind and um you come up with the best ideas and some of your ideas are like downloads from spirit you know and i feel like some people are jealous about this and surprised too by all your good ideas that you could be sharing if you're sharing your good ideas just be careful who you're sharing your ideas with because some people might try to copy your ideas i just heard that from spirit don't tell everybody your good ideas, okay? Because some people don't need to know it. Keep that your, to yourself, okay? Keep your good ideas to yourself because some people will try to steal your ideas or accuse you of, of those not being your ideas. But you know those are your original ideas or downloads from spirit. So, yeah, this pile, you, I'm not going to lie. Like, you got some haters, okay? Some people that are surprised by you, but they're, they're also kind of haters. All right, so let's see. Let's go into the kim Cran's animal cards all right so spirit what else is it about my pile number two that is surprising other people wow scorpion you could be a scorpio um but like literally what this tells me is that like some people and i feel like these are people that you might have cut off this could be family members, ex-friends, something like that. Like, these people are surprised by you because they were like, oh, you cut me off too fast or, like, you cut me off too hastily or, like, um, they're still bitter about it. Like, they, these are, they're obsessing about you. You got people obsessed about you from your past. They can't get over it. But these are people you cut out and they're, they're just surprised by the way that they think that you acted, okay? Fire ant, yeah. Like, they feel like your bite was bitter or, like, your bite was, like, too harsh. Um, 
they're, they some people think that you're harsh but you're very misunderstood by like a lot of people and i feel like especially these people are like you know total haters and they just need to back the hell off <laughs> but yeah we've got fire ant here scorpion um scorpions are feisty also i feel like a lot of people are surprised because you're very intuitive and like a lot of your um things that you intuit actually come true like a lot of the predictions that you make or like let's say that you say oh so and so is going to text me tomorrow and then they do and like your your premonitions or dreams like come true but like yeah with the fire ants that is all about like you're you're very thoughtful but just know that this indicates that people are gossiping about you so uh that really sucks yeah people are gossiping about you because um they're like they see you trying to break free from drama. You don't want any part of it. So this makes like some people want to insinuate drama even more. I feel like these are people from your past though that you don't have anything to do with anyway. They're just stirring the pot because they have nothing better to do because they're very bored. That is what Spirit is telling me. These people are very, very bored. They don't have really a life of their own. They're in competition with you too with the Scorpio. Um... Yeah, they see you as, like, wild and free. They see you as fierce. They see you as, like, like brutally honest, like I said. This person wants your forgiveness, though. But they're, they're holding on to resentfulness. They're holding on to unresolved issues. They're holding on to jealousy. So that's not good. And I feel like you don't want this person back, like, at all. Like, at all, at all. So, and I don't really blame you from the energies that I'm sensing from this person. I'm sensing, like... This person could literally be like a, a raging narcissist. All right, so Spirit, what else is it about my pile number two that is shocking other people right now? Also, like, people are really, really surprised about, um, like, you could have recently gotten married. Um, or you could be, the only other thing this could be is that you could be, like, teaching other people somehow. Like, maybe you're a teacher or um whoa anyways like you're in a position of like power or authority or like people respect you and this is surprising to people all right i dropped a few cards too many though i gotta just take one all right so spirit um how is my pile number two shocking people right now the castle maybe you like just bought a new house and it looks really good or um you might be like saving up your money to buy a new house something here about like pearls maybe you like to wear pearl jewelry or fancy jewelry maybe this is surprising to people people might think that you've come into a lot of money um whoa okay we've got three here it's kind of too many i'll just take one the womb your creativity is surprising people, like your creative ideas, the creative spark within you is really surprising to people because they're just like, they're shocked. Maybe they didn't know that that you were this creative or that you had it in you to manifest so many things, so many of your desires. But the very fact that you are able to manifest your desires is amazing. And... Um, I do feel like a lot of people from your past though are like really surprised by you like you have taken a lot of people by surprise um the womb here is like it's all about harmony love and warmth and i do feel like people see this about you that you know like most of the people that know you they know that you are easy as heck to get along with like you are kind and giving and loving and sweet and all that but like and with the womb, it's like emotionally very nurturing to other people, you know. With the womb, think of how like the womb holds the baby and like the mother nourishes the child, you know. Like this is all about nourishment and um and and uh, a deep emotional connection with others. That is how you are. You're you're just like very loving, and I feel like your kindness really shocks people too in a good way. But like I said, like, there's just some people from the past that you'd like to just be like, you're, you're like a little, you know, fly and just kind of swat them away. <laughs> they can be annoying. I'll just say that. They're like an annoying little, uh, 
they're just aggravating okay their energy is annoying that's what i want to do is like sh sh go away <laughs> all right now what i want to do is get into um some channeled message cards all right so spirit how else um is my pile number two surprising other people all right these came out you are fearless. Yes. You are selfless. See with that cre cre the the womb card there? You are selfless. Like you are very you are very giving of your time and energy. And you are setting boundaries with people. So there you go. There you go. Thank you, Spirit. So there we have it. Um, you it's exactly what I was saying before. Like, yes, you are hell you're a hell of a good person. Kind, sweet, nurturing, nice. And you got some people, some haters that are people you have cut off that you've set boundaries with that want back in your life or they are surprised by the way that they, they, they think that you're acting so cold. That's why we got the wintry scene here with the snowman. They think that you're acting cold. Um, when act in actuality, you are just setting up very necessary boundaries with these people. Okay. This person's energy kind of like gets me upset. <laughs> All right, because I have known people like this. All right, your face looks slimmer. So for some of you, going back to this, like if you've had some kind of like weight loss or something, or maybe this is just maturity settling in, but like your face looks slimmer and it gives you like a more mature kind of, um, not older, but mature look. Um, and it's very, very, very pretty. Uh, or handsome you're becoming a teacher yeah like i said with this like you could be literally a teacher or becoming a teacher or like helping other people in a huge way and this is surprising people also people are surprised because you're knocking out the competition you're cutting off negativity what did i tell you you're setting the boundaries with people you're cutting off all the negativity and you're fearless about it i love your energy i love it you have wonderful assets and you could have recently gotten one of these types of piercings. I do not know what those are called. If you know, please put that in the description box below, or I mean in the comments section, cause I don't know what the heck that's called, but you might've gotten one of those piercings. If so, you've got people really sh shocked right now. <laughs> All right. Um, I'm gonna move into the charms now. All right, so how is my pile number two shocking people right now? Ooh. Ooh, look at you shining here like a star. The star that you are, Spirit just said. The star that you are. Also, the changes that you've gone through are making you into the best version of you that you can be. Look at you. You're changing so much. We've got the metamorphosis of the butterfly here. Yes, you've changed. You're still changing. With the sunflower, you're growing. You've had more growth than you probably even knew you could have. And look at this. You might have recently found love. Wasn't I just saying that earlier? Yeah. You might have recently just found love or just gotten married or got engaged. Congratulations. You're really childlike, not childish, but childlike, and it surprises people that you're you got this inner joy. You know how everything is connected. You're very spiritual, you're very open. That surprises people too cuz they I think that people sometimes think that you're just you're either just playful or like, you know, not that serious, but like they don't know or that you have a serious side, but they don't know your spiritual side sometimes. And they're surprised to find that out. And look at this. We got another butterfly. So we got a butterfly here, butterfly here. All of these stand for changes and growth. So these four stand for changes and growth. So that just is like confirmation that you're changing and growing all the time. My pile number two. All right, I hope you enjoyed this. Um, please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I would love to have you be part of my YouTube family. Please like this video if you liked it. Please comment. I would love to read those and respond. 
And if you would like a further personal reading, check out my description box below and how you can obtain a personal reading from me. If you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much for being here. I love and appreciate each and every one of you. And by the way, if you would like to donate to my channel, it's never expected, but always appreciated. And you can find information on how you can donate to my channel in my description box below. Love y'all so much. Stay beautiful, my pile number two. Bye. Hello, my beautiful and lovely pile number three. I am so excited today to find out all about how are you shocking other people all right so we are going to be using some oracle decks um i am going to be channeling spirit and i'm going to be using some charms at the end of this reading so it's going to be super fun um we are going to be using some different things like i have these um tarot cards which i actually created using my own digital artwork so if you enjoy these and um, let's say you want a deck for yourself, you can find the information in the description box below and how, how you can um, go to my Etsy shop and get a deck for yourself or as a gift for, um, you know, somebody that you know. Anyways, so we'll be using those and we'll be using um, a whole bunch of Oracle decks. All right, so Spirit, please be here now with me. Help me to deliver the messages that are clear, concise, and accurate and resonate with Pile 3. All about how are they shocking people? So yeah, I forgot to say that if you chose the fluorite, the light green fluorite or image 3, you're in the right place. How is my Pile number 3 shocking other people right now? So I'll just say too, like if you start watching this and it doesn't resonate, it's okay to go back to the beginning and to choose again because sometimes that can happen since this is a general reading. Um, or if you're drawn to more than one pile and you want to, you know, watch more than one pile, that's okay too. Ooh, that's pretty. Meditation. I meditate daily to allow the universal wisdom to flow through me. That is very pretty. So we got meditation. Um, so the fact that you seem so zen lately, um, is really surprising people. Reaching out, I reach out my hand and my heart to connect to and to unite to all of humanity. So, wow, um, you are, you are really good with animals as well here. Um, you're shocking people because of your kind heart, because of your zen-like qualities, because of your spirituality, and because... Um, you are well connected with other people and people are definitely taking notice of this. In what other ways, um, is my pile number three shocking other people? This is not going to resonate with everybody, but for some of you, your hair might have grown really, really fast or it's like really long and it's surprising how long it is. You could be the type of person that usually has like short hair and you might have liked to grow it out and you've been growing it out really long lately and shocking people or the other way around like maybe you're the type of person who like usually has really really long hair and you went and chopped it all off lately and that would be shocking. So I'm definitely getting like this something with your hair that could be very shocking with the style. All right so spirit um how else is pile number three shocking other people right now? Aw, you're very loving. You're very kind. Um, you might have recently found a soulmate. This could be shocking to some people. Um, also, you can just be silly. You don't, you're not, you, you like have a serious side, but you also have like the silly side and that might surprise people too. Like they might see you as just, oh, you're, you're a serious person, you know, but then they see this silly or goofy side of you and they're like, oh, and they're just a little bit surprised or shocked, you know, by your silliness, that you can be silly. Your attractiveness is really, really surprising people too. Like maybe you've had some kind of recent glow up with your physical appearance. Also, um, with the page of wands there, I would say that people are really surprised at the fact that you're full of so much passion lately at what you want to do and pursue. And also, um, your sense of adventure. It's like you're very adventurous and full of energy lately. You might be surprising people. I'm hearing like Energizer Bunny. You might be like full of energy. 
um, you're like a dynamo, um, dynamic, ever-changing, quick-witted, like you surprise people, um, but you're quick, you know, quick-witted, quick thinker. Um, sometimes you can be impulsive and sometimes your impulsivity can really surprise people because like sometimes, okay, this is what surprises people. People sometimes get you wrong. They think you're a serious type, okay? And then they're totally surprised because, oh, you have a silly side and oh, you have an impulsive side. Um, that really does take people by surprise because they're like, they don't almost like don't know what to expect. You could be very multifaceted. I feel like you have many sides to you. You're very, you know, like you are interesting, <laughs> captivating. Spirit just said captivating. Um, it's like you have, it, you may feel like you have multiple personalities at times, like literally, because you have like this zen like quality about you and like networker qualities because I'm seeing like earthy vibes, spiritual vibes, and then you've got this page of wands, which is just, just like, wow. <laughs> um, this is like a whole different side of you um, that sometimes people don't see is that silly side, that um, impulsive side of you. You kind of like maybe keep that secretive or to yourself, but sometimes people will get a glimpse of it and they'll be like, oh, wow. <laughs> you know, um, with that uh fiery kind of energy though it's like people see you and are surprised by what a good conversationalist you can be at times and your high level of intelligence and also what might surprise people is that they might think that oh you're just like the spiritual like almost like quiet person and then they they hear like you being like either loud or like boisterous or see you mingling with people and they're like oh i thought they were shy and like you can totally surprise people because they might think you're like serious and shy but then you're out there and you're like mingling with people and it's fabulous but you might really really surprise people if they think you're shy or like you know really serious the fact that you're good with animals i feel like you do surprise people sometimes too because um you're better with some people's pets than they are with their own pets which really surprises the owner they may be like wait what <laughs> you're better with my pet than i am you know what i mean or like my pet likes you better than it likes me um but this could really be the case because of your zen like nature and stuff like you're very like you you put animals at ease and you relax them with your touch you have a very healing touch oh my god you got an exciting side to you I'm not gonna I'm lie you are a party animal at times like look at you here <laughs> you're you can be a little devil at times i love this he's cute too he's a cute little devil um like you can be mischievous okay um maybe you can be like a partier at times and like throw back a few drinks and be like the total life of the party and then people would be like wait i thought you were like some kind of spiritual guru or something or like i thought you were like this goody two-shoe or you know what i mean like you are so complex like you have many many sides i am hearing multifaceted like you are very very interesting dynamic as a person very very dynamic as a person you could be a scorpio you could be a pisces or a cancer um many times what surprises people about you is that you're so psychic <laughs> they could be like what how did you know that was going to happen or whatever um you're very very psychic also, what surprises people is your depth of emotionality. Like, they get, they get, they get totally surprised at how sometimes you might be car get carried away with your emotions or, like, really get amped up, like, get cranked up with your emotions. Like, you could get really protective of your friends or, like, if somebody's doing your friends wrong, you could get really, really protective and be like, uh-uh. And go into defensive mode and really show a lot of a, a depth of emotionality, which may totally take people by surprise if they think that you're, like, quiet, meek, or shy. Or something like that because they're seeing so many different sides to you that they're like okay now i'm really really surprised um yeah but they could be seeing a different side of you here with this being like very um psychic nurturing to other people um but very very in touch with your emotions and like not hiding your emotions at all when it comes to you like i say you will hide them to, you know to a certain degree at times when it's appropriate but then when it's like when it's time you will unleash the beast okay like i said if somebody is like messing with your your friends or your family or something like that like you will unleash the beast and be like uh, -uh. <laughs> okay you can be very fiercely protective with the judgment here it's like you are putting out good but good vibes good karma and people 
people are always like surprised at how chill you are and how when even though when people do piss you off or like let's say they get get your goat or they get you all worked up you can still be like nope 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 i'm not gonna be revengeful or anything like that i'm not gonna do anything to that person because i don't want to get bad karma you know you could be like very conscientious spirituality conscious and like you may just be like, no, no, I'm not going to do anything, even though I am upset. You know, this person did upset me, whatever. Like, you may be surprising people because of your attitude, because you can rise above that. You know, that's petty shit. You know, that's petty shit. And you can rise above it. So that surprises people sometimes, like your ability to rise above it. Because not everybody can do that. All right, so Spirit, how else is my pile three, like, surprising people? I feel like you are, you could have just taken on like a new creative job or having some really interesting ideas going on, like creating things. You could have been like starting a new, new venture or a new hobby, making money off some, or at least beginning to start to maybe think about earning some money on hobbies. Um, you really have a lot of self-belief and like your abilities and I feel like that's really inspiring other people and they might be surprised by you at like the gumption. I just heard spirit said gumption. Like you have a lot of um, faith in yourself and you're really going for it. You're going for something. You're going for your dreams. Yeah, you're loving yourself and um, I feel like this is well-deserved. This love, this self-love, this self-nurturing. And you're getting rid of people that are toxic. So this could be surprising to people at times that you know um you you are cutting people out taking people out of your life that are not resonating with you anymore you just don't have the time for people that want to be deceitful or lie to you behind your back or do anything any other kind of monkey business behind your back you just don't have the time for it nor do you have nor do you want to waste the energy on like people who um are like that so spirit what else in what other ways is my pile number three shocking other people Oh my gosh, one of the other piles had this too. The medallion, you are a serious winner. Like you are winning at the game of life, you know, and you are shocking people because, um, yeah, like you could have literally gotten a raise, um, somehow leveled up. This could be a spiritual leveling up. Maybe you're becoming a better version of yourself, becoming a better person. Um, you're not comparing yourself to other people. You're just becoming the best version of you. You're really rocking it. Um, your confidence is up there. You, with the medallion, you're just, you're winning life, okay? And you're really surprising people because with this one, I feel like some people might not have believed in you, but you're pursuing your dreams and you're going after it. And the flame, the flame tells me that like this little, this faith you have in yourself, it started as just an idea. Remember how I said that like you might have been starting some kind of hobby or something like that? You could be surprising people with the fact that you might be going out on a limb, but like trying something new to earn money on the side by um, maybe starting up a little business or something like that. Uh, maybe it was a, started out as a little flame and this little flame is going to bloom and, and grow into something beautiful and lucrative. I'm also hearing from Spirit. This is going to be a very lucrative um, hobby if you are thinking about doing that or if you have recently um, started some kind of project or that. But you're going to have a lot of mental clarity with the um, flame and... Also, your health is going to be excessively good. So you might really surprise people too because um, they might find out that you're like actually really health conscientious. You live a very healthy lifestyle. And um, yeah, for some reason, like this might surprise people that you are you might be very strict with yourself, you know. So maybe um, you, you're on a vegan diet or maybe you um, eat plant-based or... Um, uh, it, you, it could be a myriad of different types of diets or um, healthy lifestyles or ways of living. But yeah, people definitely, um, when they find out about it, um, that you're very careful about your diet or your health, your lifestyle, they may be really surprised about it, okay? Because it, maybe it's really strict or something like that. 
Um, but yeah, so like now I think we'll go into the animal spirit cards. All right. So spirit, how else is my pile number three surprising other people right now? Whale, you are very deep as a person and your depth can really, really surprise people too. And you've got the owl, your wisdom. It's like, holy shit. Your wisdom, your spiritual wisdom is really, really surprising people because um, you must be an old soul. You must have lived a lot of lifetimes um, in different dimensions um, or on earth or both. Maybe you resonate with like star, seed, star seeds, um, that kind of thing. But yeah, you are definitely deep and this surprises people. Some people might just think you're surface level. You know, this could be like coworkers or whatever. Maybe they don't really know the real you. You could keep that hidden. But like once they really get to know the depth of you, they're like, holy cow. <laughs> All right, what else? Marie Masquerade. Yeah, you hide it. You hide it. You don't tell everybody your spirit. You don't go around saying, I'm a spiritual person. I'm a spiritual person. No, you don't, you don't really go around, you know, telling people that. So when they find out about that or they see you in action, they may be like really, really surprised because you do keep it kind of masked. I think that's interesting. All right. So, um, Spirit, how else is my pile number three surprising other people right now? Shocking other people, I want to say. Shocking other people right now. You are living with gratitude. Just like this here. I keep looking at this, like... That zen-like lifestyle that you have, you believe in like good karma and um, putting good vibes out and like living with gratitude. You are very protected, you know that, and you're meant for big things. You are meant for big things, so just know that. Like you could be destined for fame, my pile number three. If you chose this pile, you could seriously be destined for fame, even if it's a small amount of fame. You've outgrown some people and some things from your past. So this might be surprising people that maybe you're letting friends go. Maybe you're letting people go out of your life or things go. Things that you used to enjoy, you don't enjoy anymore. It's okay. It's okay to outgrow things and people. You're, even your posture has improved. You're more confident. You're walking with more confidence. You're exuding more confidence. You're also surprising people because lately your skin looks healthy, clear, and soft. And... Your skin is just glowing. You're taking really good care of yourself and it shows. Your glow up is making some people confused or jealous. And also I'm hearing too, you might have some copycats. So Spirit just told me that you might have some copycats, people that might be trying to copy your style because they do see you really, really glowing lately. So just know that. You've gotten rid of some toxic people. Yeah. Um, and also, you you look so happy that you, you know, some people are surprised, but they're also, like I said, some people are jealous of it. You make an amazing leader. Never forget that. No more trying to make everyone else happy. You're putting you first. And I feel like this is surprising some people. Some people expect you to just say yes all the time. Maybe you're saying no a little bit more often and taking care of yourself. Maybe that's why we got this here. Self-care. Taking care of yourself, putting yourself first. There's nothing wrong about that. You learned hard lessons, but you came out on top. Yes, and look at this. Self-love right there. Yes, self-love, self-love. So, yeah. Thank you, Spirit, for that. Self-love. You are learning to love yourself. You're not you're not taking crap from people. You're saying no when you mean no. You're not taking on too much. Thank you, Spirit. All right. So now I think I'll go into the charms. All right. So, Spirit, how is my pile number three to make um, shocking other people? Your spirituality, you're growing a lot in your spirituality and your faith. Also, um, yeah, like Pile 1 had this too, I think. You could be like leaving the church or maybe you left the church or were raised with a religion, but now you're more spiritual than like 
religious. You wouldn't consider yourself religious per se, but more of a spiritual person, more like open. Also, this could be surprising some people that are in the church or maybe surprising some family members or people that are finding out like, oh, you're not religious, you know, oh, you're spiritual. Oh, okay. And some people might be confused by that. We've got the mermaid here though, like you believe in real life magic. And I love that. Now this might surprise some people. Some people might even say like, are you a witch? <laughs> Cause I'm getting that like spirit just put that in my ear. Like some people might be thinking like, and surprise, like, are you into witchcraft or, you know, um, and maybe you are and maybe you aren't, but like, you got some people thinking that maybe you, you could be, if you left the church, they could be wondering, maybe they don't understand, you know, they really, that's like, kind of what this is kind of telling me is like, it's about ignorance, you know, they don't understand what you're going through. They don't understand and they, and people can sometimes judge too quickly. But look at this, we got love here. You're loving yourself, you're loving life. And I love that about you, my pile number three. I love your energy. It's super good. You have good vibes. You're putting out good things. Ah, that is adorable. That is a cute little squirrel. Um, I feel like you could be like very resourceful, like, you know, people might be surprised at your resourcefulness. Maybe like you might not have all the answers too, but you know right where to go to get the answers. Like you know how you're really good at searching up things on, online, like finding the answers to something if you don't know. So I feel like many people are surprised by the fact that you give great advice because even if you don't know something, you know how to how to find something because you are you're very resourceful and you can find the answer to things. So that is what that little guy reminds me of is resourcefulness. And you've got that in droves. And then we've got the childlike heart, like with the Disney here, Disney key. Um, you have a childlike heart, not childish, but childlike. And you're very joyful. And I feel like um, you have like this childlike wonder. And I feel like you do. This like really confirms this, that you do believe in everyday magic. You are very protected. You could work with spirit. Um, you could channel spirit. You could be a tarot reader. Maybe this has people confused. Um, but you are he heavily protected. And even if people don't know that or understand that, you just keep being you. You're growing all the time. You're growing and changing and blossoming and blooming into the person you were always meant to be. So I'm very proud of you. With this, it's like, yeah, you know, with the um, the feather, your independence could really be threatening some people because you aren't afraid to go out on your own anymore or like stand alone or like be who you want to be without the approval of other people. Oh my gosh, for heaven's sakes, we got the squirrel again in a different pose. So that's just double confirmation on that squirrel and your resourcefulness. The fact that you always give great advice and stuff. You also may be really good at saving money, putting things away. You could be, um, you know, a really good saver. Oh gosh, I've had so much fun with you, pile number three. I hope that you've enjoyed this. Please subscribe to my channel if you're new. Please like, share, comment. I will always respond back to you. Um, if you're uh, an, uh, uh, a returning subscriber, thank you so much for being here with me. I truly appreciate and love each and every one of you. And if you'd like a further personal reading, do be sure to uh, check out my description box below for more information on how you can obtain a personal reading with me. And if you'd like to donate to my channel, it's never expected, but always appreciated. And if you're interested in purchasing um, a Unity deck that I created, definitely check out the description box below where you can find the uh, link to my Etsy shop. Anyways, love y'all. Take good care. Until next time, see ya.